Hi guys, this is Nikhil here from uh, the Mumbai Esports Championship at Koram Mall Thane and with me is Mr. Karan. How are you Karan? Uh, doing good. I'm just waiting for the tournament to start. I cannot get, you know, probably wait for it to start. Well, uh, last time we saw some fireworks from your end uh, during the Smash FIFA Championship. Uh, so, I've been waiting to see your performances uh, over the past uh, year or so. Uh, I've seen a gradual, you know, like uh, fall per se, but uh, the consistency has been there. You've been in the top-notch uh, competitors, but you've just not been making it. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I would rather disagree with that because uh, I think in the last one and a half year, I've been consistently in the top five FIFA players. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been getting elite finishes in Weekend League and I think very few people have done that in India. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was eagerly waiting for such level of a tournament to come up and I think now since it's here and we have a good roster of players who are playing in the tournament right. and I cannot wait to show my skills, prove my skill set against them. So let's talk about the journey. How have you know, like, how have you been uh, incorporating changes and also dealing with life and you know, actually just pursuing your career in esports in FIFA? Right. So FIFA for me was always my passion. Uh, again, uh, for you know, to probably break the Shira type here, it'll take a year and so. And I think MESC and Immortal India is doing a very good job of it. And so is the other players here. Mm -hmm. uh, for me. It's more about breaking the stereotype in my parents' head and in the society what they feel that your son is playing a game, rahe, but it's not like that. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of mental pressure, a lot of physical pressure goes into this and I think it's high time people start appreciating that in this country as well, like how it's being appreciated. Very, very well said, bro. Uh, I just wanted to point out a few things. Uh, when it comes to uh, the gaming aspects, uh, we've seen a rather aggressive game style from you and we've seen the watch and learn game style from uh, the other set of players that have come out in this tournament. So are you going to adopt a different strategy this time or is it going to be the same old aggressive current? Uh, no, so I think the players who recently gradually start playing make a huge mistake by trying to copy a game style which is meta in the game, that's what right, they say. Right. But I feel that you need to be comfortable in how you play. Mm -hmm. The current meta in the game is drop back but a lot of players don't play that and I play aggressive and I make sure that I always be the first one to go score the first goal and that's how I take charge of the game and that's how what that's what I'll be doing in this tournament as well okay. looking for that first so uh, talking about uh, participants from the tournament uh, we all know that there are big names coming in and people have traveled from all corners of India so whom do you treat as a threat and whom do you just uh, feel is not even worthy of competition uh, to name the not worthy person, I think Selvin is one of the guys who, I don't know, he has in got invited for some reason, but I don't know what level of tournaments which he, which he has won or anything like that. Okay. And uh, to uh, talk about my biggest competitor would be Sit Chandrana. Uh, so I have played a lot of games against him in tournaments. Uh, and plus we have uh, come very close in tournaments and I think it's an equal record. Let's say I have won four, tournament, four matches and he has won four matches. So I cannot wait to so that's win, a the, neck and neck competition. I cannot wait to win the fifth one against him in this tournament. Okay, so we've had uh, certain neck neck competitions between Sujay, between Sudin, yeah. between Saranj, yeah. you and uh, even yeah. uh, the likes of the upcoming guys, the Punjabi yeah, guy, I always yeah. forget his name. Saranjo. Yeah, yeah, so that guy, he's a kid but he, yeah, he's, he's tough. Yeah. So, I wouldn't talk about Sujay and uh, Su Su uh, Sudin much because I have defeated them in the last tournament mm -hmm. which I won. Mm -hmm. And I think I did that in a convincing very convincing match. way. Yes. And I wouldn't give much bother to that. And talking about Saranj and everyone, I think I, my game style is much better than them in this year, especially. Okay. Strong so, words coming out from Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, I think that's how a champion should behave. Okay. So, uh, Let's just uh, get down to the basic skill sets. Uh, what do you feel sets you apart from the rest today? I, so for me, I think um, it's more to do with my personality, how it has grown. I am a mo more composed player. Like bef uh, before, I was not that composed. Have you seen an emotional point of view from, uh, yeah. from the previous tournaments? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, so. That was a uh, big time coming because that was one of the tournaments which I wanted to win, mm -hmm. and I made sure I win that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the uh, amount of composure which I have seen grow in myself within the last few years has made me set apart from the other players who I'm playing right now. Great. And I think that will help me in the future as well going forward. Okay. So, where do you perceive yourself, say two years down the line, in the esports career? Uh, to be very honest, so I would like to play in the Foot Champs qualifiers, which happens internationally and esports, and I would like to be signed with a recognized esports agency. Okay. 
and I, I, I think I should, I, and I, age is just a number. So you see a lot of people who are sign, getting signed for esports teams. They're, they're youngsters. Very young, they're very young. But uh, I feel age is just a number. You can play as good as you're playing at 27, like when you're 16 and 17. So okay. I don't mind uh, good doing that when I'm 26 or 27 in the next two years. Great. So, what's your take on Jaunty's Yard? Uh, John T's Yard is one of the very innovative concepts which has come up in this tournament. I was honestly not expecting such rules to come out. Okay. And But this is something which is really great because this is about something of the minute details in the game. Like nobody notices the number of uh, shots which ha they have, the possession, the shots on goal, the, shots the, on possession, goal, the possession, and everything. And that makes a huge difference. You wouldn't want a person who's just, let's say, one by luck by just scoring one goal in one shot and the other person dominating the game but and unfortunately this, this, the game. This is your game. take on it. This is my take this on is it. Your take this on is it. my personal take so on this it. This is the, like uh, the first guy I'm finding yeah. uh, who says that uh, John T's yard is kind of, you know, fair enough. It's very fair. Uh, I feel that since uh, it's a a very innovative rule and I think in innovation is like welcome in any sport so because this was all this, the, all yeah. the other competitors have been uh, of the view yeah. that uh, it just gives you other aspects to win yeah. rather than the basic principles of FIFA all you got to do is win or this is just a second hand you cannot think about this and saying he I'll qualify on this basis mm -hmm. the first thing is yeah, to the win basic stage, the basic the basic stage is to win right and if and unless if you don't let's say if you're very unlucky this will just give you another chance and you might never know a person qualifying for jointy as could win the tournament right. you never know that right so i think you have known ankur since quite a while yeah and uh, you've been a good amigo to him yeah so what's your take on ankur as a person and how he has been and how he has been throughout yeah. you know guiding everyone yeah. Through their journeys. Oh, uh, so I think from the other competitors here, I have known him since the longest time. Yes. And the in, and I think uh, we gel together because we're both from Mumbai, right. and uh, we make sure that at least if any tournaments happen in Mumbai, a person from Mumbai should win it. Okay. That's how we've already been. That's okay. how we've always been. There uh, used to be another guy with uh, both of you all. Uh, am, uh, Rohit Thakur. Yes, yeah, that's so the, I think that's he's, he, he, yeah, he's, he's, I think probably gone abroad to pursue, pursue his further studies, okay. but he's still playing from there. Uh, coming back to Ankur, uh, the way he has grown in the gaming industry and the way he has made the gaming industry grow is, I think, tremendous. Uh, personal achievements. To talk about a few, he has won the Dada Sahib Falke Award, which no other esport gamer has yes. done till now, right? And he has qualified for the Asian Games playing PES. And a lot of credit should go to him because nobody, you know, a lot of people are really tense or key, should I switch my game, should I switch from FIFA to PES, but he made that switch and that is paying off well for him. Right. And he has uh, put India on the map in a global scale in such a, uh, a one-of-a-kind tournament which was organized in Jakarta. So that's a very good thing. So I feel you know more about Ankur than I do. <laughs> I, I personally would say that. And that's how friends and amigos roll. Yeah. So wish you all the best Karan and hope you do well. Thank you.